Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Online Cubase Tutorials. I'm Jeff, and in this episode is very exciting. We're going to learn how to make a swell that is synced to the music. Like every beat, there's a kind of a dampening effect, and it makes the music swell, and it makes you want to jump up and down with the beat. And this is a super popular technique done in almost all electronic dance music. And uh, I'm going to show you how to achieve that same technique. So what we're going to do is what we're, we're going to take the sound of the kick drum from the kicks channel. And we're going to send that to a compressor side chain. This, the compressor side chain, the compressor itself is going to be on the bass because right now we just have drums and the bass. And I want that bass sound to really, uh, I'm going to let the kick drum come through the bass right now. Um, we kind of simulated it with the way that these volume notes are coming up and down and that changes the, the kind of the character of the, of the synthesizer sound. But in this case, um, we can even accentuate that effect with a compressor. So the first step is I'm going to go into the bass group track. So this will actually take effect. Even if I add like additional bass instruments for another part of the song, that's why another benefit of having group tracks, um, and we could even uh, put drums as its own mix. We could put this on the final track, but uh, for now I'm just gonna put it on the bass. So I'm gonna go into the insert effects for this uh, bass channel, uh, group channel, and I'm gonna go to dynamics and I'm gonna use the vintage compressor. And the vintage compressor plugin is really good. And um, just to give you an idea of what how this works is um, a compressor makes things louder and it caps off the volume. So if you have a wide dynamic range, um, it makes the quieter sounds louder and it makes the louder sounds quieter. So you kind of have like an even level of volume for everything. And so before we get started, what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna let this um, play and make sure that you can see audio levels coming in here. So if I, if I were to increase the gain of this, it's peaking now over here. So the output will turn back down. And I'm just I'm just working this um, input and output. And you can see um, there's it's reducing the amount of gain here already. And so really what I want to do is I want the, this to be kind of at the minimum amount of input. And we'll crank it up just a little bit. And that looks pretty good for, for a bass setting. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the side chain and I'm going to set the setting so that it's um, got a really high ratio and a high ratio means like it's kind of like multiplying it by two multiplying it by four eight or twenty so it's like got a, a lot of a lot of uh, high ratio and then I'm going to set it to punch and auto release so this is kind of just like a basic setting for creating that swell in electronic dance music so the activate side chain is not there for every compressor let me press stop the sidechain uh, compressor is not available for every plugin so the vintage and the tube compressor both have it um, this is kind of just like a standard setting that I've found works pretty well and uh, it's a good way to demonstrate this feature so now that we have that um, vintage compressor on the bass and turned on sidechain we can go to the kick drum the audio channel for the kick drum and edit that guy and what happens now is I can send to the side chain. So I'm gonna turn it on and this little this little um, toggle switch here is pre post fader. And what that means is it's kind of hard to explain, but essentially by default, it's a pre fader, which means if I turn the fader down for this channel, but this send effect is set to pre fader, then this volume is going to be affected the, the volume that's going out to this send bus to the base uh, side chain is going to be limited by this. If on the other hand, if I set it to post fader, then changes in the kick drum volume fader are not going to affect the amount of send going out to the um, side chain. So for this swell type of effect to work, I'm going to leave this at uh, post fader. 
and I'm going to go down to my base track again and edit this and click on this and bring back up this vintage compressor. And what I want to see is when I press play, I want to make sure that kick drum sound is coming in here. All right, so it is. Basically that boom, boom, boom is the kick drum sound getting routed. Alright, so I have the kick drum turned all the way down, but yet you can see that it's still making it over here. If I switch this to, to pre-fader, no kick drum sound is coming into the compressor. Post-fader it is. Now if I make this back, mix this kick back in, see how that creates that bounce, that swell, and it's created from that compressor. Now I'm going to mix the kick drum out again, so you can, I'm going to mix, mix down the kick sound again, just so you can hear that swell. If I, if I were to um, bypass this, now this this bounce right here is the actual kick drum itself. And so for you to actually see how this works, just give me a second here and I will show this before and after, just kind of a before and after, right? So here's the bass track. I'm sorry. Here's the um, bass channel, the group channel. You see how that's kind of bouncing now? Whereas if I turn this off, it's more flat. And we're so we're, get, we're getting a we're getting a little bit of a bounce in there from the kick drum. Now, another trick that I have is um, we can stack these up. You can actually copy this preset, copy vintage compressor setting, and you can make another one. So, dynamics vintage compressor, and then it pops up, and you can say paste. <coughs> Excuse me. Paste uh, compressor setting. Now all the settings are the same. Turn on sidechain. Go back here to the to the kick drum, and add another copy of that. Send to the next sidechain, and then put it to the same settings. Turn it on, and then I'm going to go back to the bass group track. And now with both of these turned on and both of them receiving that, that signal, see how you can hear how there's already, there's like a, a nice uh, swell developing. See that, you can almost see the bounce right there. I think I'm going to do one more. Okay, so I'm going to have three, three compressors on this thing to get that effect. Um, paste. So I got the settings. It's another, another side chain. Go back to my kick, kick channel. Send and send that to the third side chain. Post fader and turn it off. Now, if I, now again, if I go back to the to the bass track. Oh, sorry, it's not the actual bass sound. It's the group group channel. See that bounce? And that leaves a real nice um, space for the kick drum to fit into without getting too muddy. So now you know how to use a sidechain compressor in Cubase to create that swell that you get in electronic dance music. All right, so when we come back to the next episode, and we're going to uh, work on improving the sound of this and add uh, some synthesizer part and uh, see where that takes this track. It sounded pretty good.